Alright, you ready for a terrible, terrible boss? After this terrible, terrible dungeon, I feel ready for anything. Good. I don't see its mask. It's 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 there, it's just really small. So strategy is Miss. Yeah. What? Strategy is you hit it once to stun it and then you swim at it with the magical electrical field. And then when you do that you will always get hit because I cannot figure out how to avoid getting eaten when you do that. Nice. Well, maybe Tattle's useful advice would help with that. I don't think so. Also, that happens sometimes. So, do you just do the whole fight as Azora? Uh, you can use arrows and switch back and forth, but like, why would you? Yeah, that. That's weird if they, um, like, provide the arrows like they expect you to use them. If... Well, if you if you have full magic, I think it just defaults to arrows, because it gives you magic if you break those open, I think. Like, if you're out of magic. See, and then you try and do it, and you get eaten. I hope you brought fairies. I'll be fine. Also, he'll ram the platform and knock you off sometimes. It's not fun. Ah, uh, you weren't even in the water. I know. <laughs> oh, well, you gotta manage to get away from him that time. Yeah, but just barely. He was behind me, like, literally the entire time. And then, you know, after a while, he starts spitting fish at you. Oh. Jeez. Yeah. I don't understand. I really don't like this fight. Yeah, it seems harsh. A little bit. Man, one guy told me that fairies in Majaro's mask are overpowered. How? What? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, he said they gave too many hearts compared to other games. And then they introduced quarter hearts in another game, took out all the challenge.
There we go, it's over. Well, at least he takes punches like a bitch. Yep. Alright, we never have to come back here again. Until we do. No, we don't. It's it's over. But now you have the ability to have that fantastic battle whenever you want. Yeah, here's the thing about that. They kind of, um, for this area and the next area, they kind of don't change anything once you beat the boss. So it doesn't matter. Huh. They kind of gave up on that idea. Like, one thing changes in this area, and it's a mini-game unlocks, which I'm going to go do after this. I guess they figured after having to beat the Gorgon like six times to do all that stuff that people didn't want to do any more of that. Yeah, but at least they picked a fun boss fight to make you redo over and over again. Yeah. Senate drafted the laws that makes the turtle sleep forever. I don't know. The mayor of Clocktown. So now that we beat the dungeon. Singer has her voice back, but I don't know where she is. I don't know where she went. She's gone. Why'd she lose her voice? Uh, she laid a bunch of freakish eggs or something. I don't know. There she is. Oh, those were her eggs? Yep. Sorobiology is weird. Yeah. So yeah, so now we get a, a fun cutscene of rehearsal. Man, she's gonna be, like, really upset when she finds out that the father of her children is actually dead. Well, uh, yeah, we're gonna reset time make sure that never happens. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's right, time travel. Yep. He's dead in all timelines, though. Nothing we can do to stop that. Evan, what do you have to say about this? Evan? So, um... Now what? Now, uh, now there's a mini-game I can do. So 
So yeah, beating the beating the dungeon doesn't make the ocean any less murky or filled with monsters. So oh, yeah, let's go let's go turn in those fairies. Oh yes. Those annoying buggers. the acrobat pretty much so also there is that boulder what uh, that boulder you passed it was clearly bombable I don't think there's anything there it's just a rock that's dumb yeah also there's a scarecrow spot on that island but I don't understand why because there's a tree What's a scarecrow spot? Like, you know, you play Scarecrow's song and you get a scarecrow to hook shot to. Oh. That's in this game? Yep. Those boots look really weird compared to like her I guess you could call it her outfit. Um I guess. So we got reduced damage. Man, that would have been useful against giant masked fish. Yeah, it would have, but too late now. So there's a mini game here. I'm gonna try and do it, but I it also ends at 6 p.m. So uh, it's not gonna work out. Uh, I'm also not very good at it. You have to you have to break all of them at once. Well, it looks like you just stand between the two Zora and hit the center one. Like, that's the way it looks like it's set up. Yeah, but I forgot how to do it when I was doing a thing, so... I apologize for wasting everyone's time. <laughs> Oh, and you almost got it that time, too. Yep, but now they're gone.
It's dangerous to be on the beach at night. There's a like like. It's like three of them. So there's a mini game over here where we can get a heart piece. Thought you said there was only one new mini game. Uh, that first one that was there the whole time, I just forgot about it. Ah. Is this boat always here? Nope. It's only here after you beat the dungeon. Hmm. Isn't that the guy who wanted the picture of strange female creatures? Yes. Alright, so now it's daytime and we can actually do this. This looks annoying. It's actually really easy, because they give you so much time. Ah. The only problem is every time you jump, the camera rotates slightly, so every once in a while you have to fix it. Yeah, I didn't think it would. the camera would be so high. I thought it would just be the normal camera, and that sounded like a nightmare. Yeah, no, that would be impossible. Is that a U showing up next to the torch? Yeah, I think that's another one of those Project 64 glitches. Alright. Because remember when I was doing the, the shooting gallery and like upside down twos would show up? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the same type of deal going on here. Making it harder to beat your high score, Miko. What are you doing? I don't want to beat my high score. I just want to get the heart piece. You only needed to beat 20. If you get 20, you get rupees, I think, and then now we're at 25, and then you get the heart piece. Oh. Pretty sure it's 25 at least. Of course he's not going to make any money from this stupid game in the middle of nowhere. Let's get out of here. 
I'm sick of this place and everyone in it. Exactly. Now that we have the hook shot, there's so there's so much money in town to be had. We could already had this money. Could we had that money? Oh wait, that isn't the silver rupee. No, that That's one's worse. The silver one's in the other side of Clock Town. Ah oh, man, Ocarina made so much of a deal out of purple rubies. I was always so mad when I thought I was getting a heart piece and got one of those. I know, right? They were just everywhere. Alright, let's, uh, let's make a deposit into the First National Bank of getting paid. And this is just about the end of the video. In the next video, I get the bigger wallet. Hooray! Yay! Goodbye.